Hi, welcome to this tutorial on cracking crude oil. This is uh, this is a follow-on really to the crude oil and alkanes tutorial. And basically, if you notice in the um, in that tutorial we had the um, distillation, the fractional distillation of crude oil into its components, and they were they were things like petrol. Um, they were the uh, butane, and butane and propane gases. Uh, where petrol comes from pentane up to uh, octane say that's an A um, so, so petrol comes into it is a category and so on and then we have kerosene and so on and so on and basically what was happening was this this was a small hydrocarbon if you remember so C3H2N plus 2 if you remember so that would be 6 plus 2 would be 8 and so on, so on. That'll be C four H ten, and so on. Um, but what happens is when you get to the longer uh, chain molecules. So say, for example, C C thirty five. I just made that. So C thirty five is two N plus two, so it's a bit of seventy two H seventy two there. I mean, this is quite a long molecule, and if you if you think of um, if I, I drew a molecule and represented carbon as a circle, say, so this bit here is a uh, CH3 bit, and then you got CH2, CH2, and I've only drawn three there, but if I represent that as a, a circle, that and it goes like this, zero. You know, it's going to go on for a, a long time as these hydrocarbons, and these are really long molecules. And let's see if I can let's see if I draw a, a longish one to explain what cracking the cracking process is because I'll be able to hopefully cut and paste this molecule anyway so give me too much of an effort so how many have we got there we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 C 19 so this is a C 19 hydrocarbon so C19 19, 19 times 2 38 plus 2 is 40 so here we go okay so we've got quite a long chained hydrocarbon there and I will just colour that in red Oops. And grab it colour that in red okay so we got got a nice hydrocarbon there but that's too long and it's it's, it's not used as a fuel because it's too big it's more of a an engine oil or something like that so what the cracking process does it takes a large molecule like that just copy it and puts it over catalyst catalyst and it breaks it down just grab that it breaks it apart thermally breaks it apart so it uses heat so I'll put I'll introduce a symbol here for heat as well because normally I put delta for heat now that's something I've come across through my studies at university and, and school and things like that um, but T is just as good as heat so temperature basically is heat needed there for, for now we can put heat I'll just get rid of those things to confuse it but just in case you do ever come across those symbols that's what they're for okay so I just move that over there so you take a long chain molecule like that heat it over a catalyst now the catalyst is actually aluminium oxide in the majority of cases so aluminium oxide Okay, I won't go into the details of how aluminium oxide works um, but just to say that a catalyst uh, makes this more efficient process okay so what it does is it breaks the molecule apart so the molecule starts off as long molecule like that and then if I can just delete that it breaks it apart into smaller pieces okay and one of the, one of the byproducts of this 
process is the smaller smaller molecules which are in the petrol range or in the butane range you know these small fragments but also ethylene is produced as well and ethylene is quite a useful molecule I'll just draw that I'll draw it in blue so ethylene is a byproduct of this as well and ethylene is another hydrocarbon and it's part of another hydrocarbon family and it's called alkenes so I'll draw I'll write the name ethylene And ethylene is an alkene. Alkene. Okay. So if you remember from um, the crude oil um, tutorial, we had alkanes. So here we've got this extra um, suffix here on the end. We've got ene now. You look at that. That's ene. And that basically means there's a double bond. So now this is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. So if you remember, I introduced saturated hydrocarbons. This is unsaturated. And that basically means that this can react with other things. So ethylene or any alkene can react at this double bond with what's called electrophiles. And basically they're just things that like electrons and some a bit more electron richness to this molecule because of this double bond here. And carbon's the same. If you do look at the valence um, valency of carbon, it's still four. So you've got one bond to hydrogen, one bond to that hydrogen, but two bonds here to this carbon. So the carbon share what's called a double bond. So that's an, an alkene, and we just use the same um, terminology, the same words, or we prefer to say nomenclature. So the same nomenclature which is um, if it's got two carbons then we call it eth something so ethylene ethanol ethane that kind of thing depending on the functionality and this ending bit just tells us a little bit more information about the actual molecule itself so just just to recap on um, cracking of crude oil because it is quite straightforward really uh, industrially it might not be but the chemistry of it is quite straightforward. We take our longer chain um, hydrocarbons that have, are um, manufactured from crude oil, that are separated out by fractional distillation, like we showed in the previous tutorial. We heat it uh, um, and it goes over a catalyst, usually aluminium oxide. There might be other catalysts available now. And it's broken down into smaller molecules. And these smaller molecules are more used to us, uh, for example, for powering our cars or for or cooking with or, or something like that. And another um, byproduct of it, a very useful one, is ethylene. And ethylene uh, will be used in another tutorial. And we can look at the, some of the products that ethylene can be used for, in particular polymers. So I'm going to end the tutorial there. And and thank you for listening. And do do look out for the other related tutorials on um, hydrocarbons.